To install a graphene liner, first lay the gun out nice and flat. Next, remove the end parts. This guy slips off. Use the wrench that comes with the welder. And these come apart too. On the end that connects to the welder, undo this little nut and pull out the standard liner. Once that's pulled out, we can replace it with the graphene liner for aluminum. You can cut the new liner material very easily with a new razor blade. It comes with a flexible coil on the end, but you're just going to cut that right off with a razor blade. And now we'll feed that new liner all the way from the machine end to the gun end and we'll go right out of the gun end. On the gun end you want to make sure that the liner butts up with this part. So we'll put that together so that that happens. We'll just push with this part in, screw that guy down, reinstall the consumables, and we're good on this end. On the machine end, you're going to trim the liner at three inches, or the length of this part that we're going to remove from the welder. Once you have that done, Put this end back together. And you're finished. It's good to keep in mind that every welding gun will be a bit different. But the idea is to make sure the aluminum wire is always running through the slippery graphene liner and not being dragged down by the materials in a standard liner. I hope this brief video helped in some way. If it did, and you'd like to get my latest videos, don't forget to hit the subscribe button.